Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> oh, thanks for thanks for joining us today, uh, Bet. I appreciate that. Was that Bet or was that the other one? Was that uh, Bet or that was? That, that was, was not your... Bet. That was uh, not Bet. That was me being uh, Catherine Hepburn. I mean, I couldn't tell his Catherine Hepburn and his Bet were kind of similar. <laughs> well, Catherine's got a little more of this, and this is Bet. Uh, well, versus when, it's, uh, when it started uh, off versus well, uh, well your hey uh, girl versus ah uh, well your hey girl like your hey girl had bet and then when you got to the last hey it switched into Catherine. well it's it's hard to go hey that just hurts people's ears <laughs> <laughs> so we're sorry for this episode <laughs> Not yet, no, not but yet, we right. will be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. So, Mame, what the hell's going on with you? Um, not much today. I've been uh, doing some um, cleaning up of my sewing room, trying to get, mm. I know, right? Trying to like, I was, I needed a pattern um, and I have two different tubs of patterns and I, the pattern that I needed was in the pattern in my closet that was covered in things. So I was like, oh, I have to clean so that's what I've been doing most of the morning. I mean, the thing is, you don't have to clean. You just have to take the stuff out and put it right back in. But see, that's not how my brain works. My my brain doesn't do that. I wish I wish I could be one of those people, but my brain doesn't operate like that. My brain operates like, okay, so let me pull these things out. Now I'm going to organize these things before I put things back to either the same place or into a different location because – most of the time I've now created a new location for certain things to go into. This particular pile of stuff has been separated into four different areas mm -hmm. that they're going to be going into <laughs> this evening. And how does this work whenever you do makeup? Because I, from my personal experience, when I do makeup, there's just shit everywhere. Okay, so I do have actually a similar problem, except the, uh -huh. the good part is that because we have this unfinished part of our house, um, I can kind of leave stuff. And then when it's time, like usually because I do the show on Thursdays, I don't usually feel up to it until Saturday or Sunday. And I'll go back in and, and then I'll put everything like I have everything in like tubs that are labeled and mm -hmm. things like that to keep it all organized. I um, can just hear hear you oh no the workers are coming i must hide my rouge <laughs> so okay fun story this really did happen uh -huh. fun story so i can't remember which thing they were working on on the house i can't remember what it was now but you know i do that um that tv show thing like, uh, the online tv show like yeah. every month right is so, it still a tv oh. show if it's online I don't know how you would call anyway, it streaming, streaming show, I guess you call it. Okay. So, um, one Thursday, um, I was really one hoping they would Thursday. be gone. I was really hoping. I was like, oh, uh -huh. I, you know, the husband was like, oh, they should be gone before you even have to go to that. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Um, <laughs> they were yeah. not. No. So I had to go into the back room, get all dolled up. And just as uh, I was like, literally, it was like the last minute. I was like, hey, guys, how much longer are you going to be? But I am now in full drag. Uh, uh -huh. One of the gentlemen, I he didn't even seem phased. He didn't even <laughs> seem like he didn't even the other two that didn't speak much English. They were both kind of like, what what's happening right now? Uh -huh. but the other one was like, I'm guessing he has probably lived in South Florida long enough. He's like, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. used to this. I've but have done an, I've done I've worked enough Sundays at people's houses when they're getting ready for drag brunches. <laughs> so yeah, so I just I didn't even care. I was just like I don't I, I don't have time. I don't have time to care right now. I need you guys to be done because I can't leave you here in the house um, without the other one being back. He's not supposed to be back for like three more hours. So you guys gotta go. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just leave workers in my house. Okay, I, I do. Like I'm all like, the benefits of living in North Carolina in nice parts. What what are they going to steal? I mean, I don't know. Like your wigs. I mean, on the black market, <laughs> some of those wigs might go for a good amount of money. I don't know. Oh don't God, know. it's another William Shatner mug. 
<laughs> I told you there's an entire set of these cups. There's like there's like eight different mugs. What are you drinking? Because I had a spoon in it. I'm having coffee. Oh, I'm with a drink, spoon? I'm still, I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm still doing from, it. From this morning? No, no, no. This is like okay. my third cup. Oh, okay. This is the, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, this, I'm is, just... this is the boost of the boost. This is the... Well, this is... No, we've, we've, we've uh, downshifted into decaf now. Oh, so, I see. Um, I see. Remember, I, see. I drink coffee just because I like coffee. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so I have to switch gears every once in a while because otherwise I'll be up till tomorrow. So, um... You know, actually, girl, that's that's, that's that's only eight hours, nine hours away. You're gonna be up till tomorrow anyway. Brr. I don't want <laughs> to work tomorrow. Yeah. Is it bad? I'm I've reached that point of the year. It's almost like a senioritis, like adultitis. No, I like, I feel the same way. I just want to go be in front of one of those uh, seasonal affective disorder oh, lamps yeah. all day yeah. and just. Yeah relax that'll be you know? nice yeah. i i really i think this is maybe maybe that i'm in my 40s now i actually think i'm starting to get the seasonal affected disorder um because i have noticed this year specifically i don't quite feel the same can i just throw this out there that's yeah. really hard to get in florida well i realize that but this is the <laughs> thing right so you don't go outside I don't go outside. <laughs> I never go outside. I go outside. I go outside. So let's say this is not like a villain day. I go outside tw twice a day. Tw oh. Once to once to walk the corgi. And the second time is further like nightly pee pee poopy. Um, and technically, if we're thinking about the seasons, <laughs> both of those events happen almost at dusk or it's dark. Why don't you just work in the pool area? I don't know. I don't want to do live calls from there because then it's going to look pretentious. Put some plants behind you. Nobody yeah. will know. They always know. They I'm... notice everything. Oh, I see you're out on the veranda today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's too fast. <laughs> There's something about you said it in such a weird, like a hybrid carpetbaggery southern way. <laughs> it was like, wait, wait the veranda. <laughs> like, there's like multiple inflections there that were a little bit weird. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. But yeah, how are you? What is, what's been going on there? Um, or... Not much. Not much is new. Um, I've been doom scrolling a lot now that Omicron's here. Yes. <laughs> Omicron, <laughs> it's like, gonna kill us all, or not? Or um, not. like, like I, 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 being of science mind, know that there's not enough data out there for anything. But I still pick up my phone and, like, t while taking a poop, because there's no better time to do it. Scroll <laughs> that's, that's through, kind of doom scroll. Scroll through. I, I look. I, I like have some searches set <laughs> like <laughs> omicron israel because all the data comes off israel <laughs> omicron like and, and i just look and i and i read and none of it like none of it's based any kind of science yet so see i do this, i do the same thing but that's what that's how i've been following the wendy williams saga <gasps> so in the same in the oh same no way. speaking of wendy williams <laughs> we have a patreon we do have a Patreon. <laughs> if you go to patreon.com backslash baking sugar, you mm -hmm. can throw us some money. Also, also, Mame, you don't know this, but I did something. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you are going to ask me what it is. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. I thought you were going to tell me. <laughs> no. No, I, I was waiting for a, well, what is it, Mims? Oh, but okay. No, well, what is it, Mims? Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Settle down. I uh I I put a link in our bio. Put a link in our bio that you, P dear listeners, you can get just throw money at us. Like there's oh, no yeah. Patreon. Yeah, you just can throw just, money. At us. Just throw money at us. If you like our show and you'd like it to keep on going without us going broke, that's just donate some money. P PayPal is lovingly calling it donating, which sure, sure we will call it well. donating. <laughs> yeah. tax, tax purposes 
<laughs> oh, no, already... don't say that because they, it, it is not tax write off for them. It is not tax. Dear listeners, it is not. It's not that kind of donation. We are not. We are not a nonprofit. We're not a 501c3. We, but we are not a profit either because we no, ain't. We're just not, we're just not, we're not, not by choice. We're just not making profit off of this. It's not by choice. Okay. Uh, but let's leave that. We've got a Patreon. There's a PayPal thing. Well, I guess I, we could convert this into a, a 501c3. Maybe we could call it like um, uh, dedicated to perpetuating the uh, Southern narrative through comedy and um, uh, I don't know. I, I, I had a good thing going for a second there. I no, was you trying didn't. to think of something. No, oh, okay. I thought, no, no, I thought it was pretty you, nice. You, you, you tried. Canada's so- Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> Issue one. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, every week you're like, ah. Uh. So, mm-hmm. so we, Mr. Mims and I were watching it. I was drunk, um, <laughs> as you do. As you do. I okay. <laughs> well, we were watching at eleven o'clock on Friday. Okay, that is drunk hour. Okay, like, okay. like I we we had gone out for, I had gone out for dinner and beer, and while while Mr. Mims was uh, at a child's birthday party, then they came back to meet us, and he came back to meet us and some other friends and. We we went out to a bar and had some more drinks. Nice. Um, so several drinks later, um, we go home and watch <laughs> Drag Race Canada. I'm as so happy you, do. you two can do this. I'm so glad. If I did this with Mister Mame, there would be no like eleven o'clock watching something. It would be literally be like he's asleep. Like <laughs> he'd just be asleep. I mean, I I basically was for this episode. But <laughs> oh, but, but it was heartwarming. It really was. Pythia was fantastic. Yeah, this is. I basically felt like this episode was like, cool. We're gonna basically lay out the red carpet for Pythia to go right to that crown. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> but as we were watching the lip sync, Mister Mims said, "So, question for you: Who do you think you should stay?" And I was like, "Oh, let me tell you something. Who I think should stay." And who they're going to keep are two completely different people. Because I see somebody hamming it up, and they're not the one who's giving the good lip sync. So, (laughs) (laughs) and guess who was right? Guess who was right? It was me. It was me. It was me. (sighs) Isis should have gone home. I mean, I, I think so, too. Uh, but I will say though, even though, yes, Isis should have gone home. I do still think though that Isis gave at least lip sync aside the more entertaining performance. I don't think so. Oh, I didn't think, I didn't think Adriana was that entertaining this time. Okay. Picture it. Legends. (laughs) Okay. Not going going in a good direction already, (laughs) but okay. You're in the drag room as you do. Here we go. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Adriana is on stage doing that. Yes. You're going to give her 10 bucks, right? <laughs> I have never given a drag queen $10 in my life. <laughs> well, I have when they've done a GoFundMe for. Okay, days, there you go. You're going to give her $2. How's that? You're going to give her $2. Okay, $2 sounds more. Isis is coming on stage doing that weird lip thing and going back and forth like this. The yeah, you're not gonna give her anything. You're gonna go. I, I've, I. This is bad. You're right. Actually, in live, in a live setting, it did look better on TV than it would have in like a real setting. You're yeah. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they. I mean, they did kind of edit it also. This, and mm. she, her lip sync was watermelon, watermelon juice. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, by the way, who knew about this? French Canadian pop star covering RuPaul songs for goodness sake! Like, I know, I would, right? I never even heard of her until no. until the thing. Now I've, I've like made like a playlist on Spotify. I'm obsessed. Well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Sometimes. So much. I can't. <sighs> but do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what that reminds me of? Now that you said French. Do you remember the episode of Buttons and Mindy in France? Oh, wait, yes. Where all the nuns come out and like whatever buttons and then, yes. then Madeline just comes at the end. 
Yes. That that image still every once in a while comes to my head. And I giggle. <laughs> Dear listeners, that's from the Lord's year of nineteen hundred ninety six, maybe. So long, so long ago. So long ago. So we're so old. It's so we're old. so old. So we're old. so old. <laughs> Speaking of things that are old, this episode. This episode is old and dated. <laughs> of, of, of Designing Women. You ready to get into it? I'm super excited. I love corny episodes like this. You know that. This is season two, episode eight, Cruising. Dear <laughs> listeners, before we continue. <laughs> we just got started. What are you doing? I need to explain to our dear listeners what cruising means to a gay man. <laughs> I mean, just make them go watch the Al Pacino movie. They'll get it. Which one? Cruising. Oh, I thought you were talking about that one where, where insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one with him and Robin Williams. And yes, it's I'm not, familiar with it's it. It's not I a good it's, movie. I saw it's that in the theater. I, thought, I, I did thought too. I it was so long. I actually liked it. You when would. I, it. I, I love stuff like that. So, uh, um, also, also, oh, I need to clarify something before we continue on with this episode or get started with it, whatever. So, Mr. Mims and I were talking about Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. Why? And, well, because somebody was on stage and I was like, uh, no, we were talking about Martin Short. Um, oh, no, not you. Because it was somebody... <laughs> Some he Martin Short was in a movie and he's like, Yeah, it's your least favorite comedian. And I was like, Martin Short? He's like, Yes, that's the one. Um <laughs> and, and and I was like, you know, Martin Short, uh Billy Crystal's bad as Martin Short. He's like, wait, 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 wait. There's a difference. <clears throat> Martin Short wants you to like him. Billy Crystal doesn't care. And that no. makes Billy Crystal a better comedian. I was like, You are absolutely right. Yeah, Billy Crystal doesn't care. I mean, that's I mean, if you if you really go back through his like kind of lexicon of movies, yeah. he doesn't always really play even likable characters no, sometimes. Like no. they're not evil villains, but he's no. not that likable. And like guy. in his stand up, he may give you a four out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't care that he's giving you a four. Martin Short will give you a five and ex and want you to think it's a ten. <laughs> also, there's that whole Fat phobic and homophobic Jiminy Glick, but we won't get into that. Let's get in this episode. Give this me a is... C, a bouncy C. <laughs> God, every time I know I hate it's it. So bad. I hate that I love it, but it's every so time he says it, I start bad. laughing. It's so <laughs> bad. His SCTV stuff, I can't help it's it. I just so... find it. So no, bad. it was bad too. He was the worst part of I it. I didn't say. I didn't. I'm not trying to con contradict you. I'm just saying, like I personally. He just always makes me laugh. That's all. That's What's the name of the dude with the thing? Uh, uh, Ed. Uh, yeah, Ed something or other. I can't remember it now. Oh, God, <laughs> remember he had his own cartoon show for a while. Ed Grimley. All right, dear listeners, reset. <laughs> this is season two, episode eight, Three Cruising. <laughs> I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm, I'm, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. Went and that is the night. The light went out in Georgia. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, now you do. <laughs> so we're at Sugar Bakers, <laughs> and we find that Mary Jo and Julia went to an inner city high school, Anthony's old inner city high school. That even though he was from Louisiana. Yeah, we, that we, was a little that made yeah. no sense, <laughs> but you know, whatever. So we, we they went there for career day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so and like Suzanne says a little racist thing about I don't yeah. know why they these bad neighborhoods. Why don't they just move to better ones? 
<laughs> and my goodness, they could have. I mean, Miss Linda Bloodworth Thompson, she could have used that as a moment for Charlene to pipe up and say something about what she just said. But no, Charlene just says, yeah. So Mary Jo and Julia show up. Yeah. Things went well. Things went well, except, except for thing. except for some, and I quote, hoods. Yes, yes. yes got hoods. after Julia. To which Suzanne says, well, they always do because of that sachet in her walk. <laughs> oh, so much problematic stuff at the beginning of this episode. And, and then I have written right here, right here. Can you see it? It's, it's yes. right here. It says, it's a racism. <laughs> 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 so much problematic stuff at the beginning of this. So, it's so, like... so, so Julia even says what the hoods said to her. I didn't write that down. Because Dang I'm, it. I'm I was not... go- I knew I was like, I should write it down this time. For some reason, I for some reason thought you were not going to no, write it down. No, it's, it's, it was too racist. It was too much. I so couldn't. Here's what here's this, obviously as a person of color. Um, Are you? <laughs> I mean, I'm some colors. Um, you know, I'm not all of them, but I'm a lot of them. Um, Are you this one? A um, little bit. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> um, Irish. Uh, no, I don't think we're Irish. This I think we're one? Scots. Oh, wait. No, actually, no. We are Scots Irish on my dad's side. Um, yes. I mean, all of the racist colors that you're showing out there right now. I did not listeners. even, I did not even really think that they were racist. I, this, I, I was just joking around, but looking back, yes, they were all racist colors. I, can we just, can we just pause for a second to, to realize that there is a song called Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. And, uh, There's a German song. There's a German song. Um, I hope there's lots it, of German songs. Well, there are, but there's a German kid song about the different uh, colors and then are all my clothes because my my love is a... And then one of them is red, red, red are all my clothes because my love is an Indian. Yeah. Yeah, there's that. There's that. Heart, heart's in the right place, but not... Not. not really no no no, no, no. so anyway so i i found it so to me i here's a couple of things that are observational right number one uh-huh. if a person ever says the word hood to me i assume something you know criminal even not necessarily a racial connotation but unfortunately being that we are america we well, knew exactly what she was talking about to the point that when they said they had an issue at first I thought they meant an actual issue, not just some black dudes were catcalling to Julia. <laughs> what, wait, wait, you you don't take the racist connotation to hood immediately? No, 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 no. not not immediately, right? Like uh, not really. Because, well, no, not under the context of this, right? Really? Because because they said there was an incident, so in my head. I thought, oh, okay, like an actual incident. So when she said hood at first, I was like, oh, because I forgot about this part. I was like, oh, wait, like what happened? And then when she did that, I was like, oh, no, she just means a traditional racist version of the word. <laughs> like, yeah. At first, when she said it, because she said incident first. And so I was yeah. like, oh, I was like, wait, did something happen? I don't remember this happening in the episode, something bad happening. And then when she said it, I was like, oh, no. It was just I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Well, a travel agent yes. has invited them to remodel the Brenner Single Cruises flagship. Yes. We find out Suzanne hates single cruises. <laughs> because Which was, it, it, was it weird? Did, did we have the understanding that she'd been on one before or just, she, just the, the actual understanding of them is what she hated? So she later says she's been on cruises before. I don't think she's been on singles cruise, but she later says she's been on cruises before. Okay, so that makes me um, I missed that I missed that line. But like I feel like Suzanne hates all single stuff. So that's yeah. probably where that comes from. Well, you know, right? the the men they beat down her door trying to get to her. Just beat it down. Just beat it <laughs> beat, beat it that down. door down. Just beat that door down. And like Suzanne's like, I hate it when Men wear toupees and are wearing polyester. And Charlene chimes in 
Rightfully with something so. near near and dear to my heart. Rightfully so. <laughs> She's sick and tired of people who put down polyester because it doesn't wrinkle. It travels well. And it's time that the truth was told. I agreed with her. I was like, you know. I mean, I mean nowadays, though, I guess you, you know, we don't really do like pure polyester anymore so much everything's more like a poly cotton blend so that it doesn't wrinkle speaking of poly cotton blends i this is not sponsored dear listeners <laughs> this is not sponsored i am a lady of size <laughs> and i <laughs> did you like that did you like that <laughs> and as a lady of a certain girth it's sometimes hard for me to find t-shirts that fit quite correctly. So I, being a near millennial large woman, decided to purchase some t-shirts from both Fresh Clean Tees and True Classic Tees, okay? Just plain t-shirts. I like a black v-neck. That's me. Because it draws the eye to the middle. Showing off that taco meat. You right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I will say, as a girthy individual, I highly suggest fresh clean tees. They fit right. They feel very comfortable. I this is not sponsored, but I just thought since we're talking about poly blends, this is a good way to interject. However, Fresh Clean Tees, if you want to throw some money my way, we'll, you can, we'll let you sponsor us. Make sure to tag them when you post about this podcast. I so will, that they I will, I will. I, I wonder will. if there's any drag kings named Girthy Brooks. That's a great name, Girthy oh. Brooks. Coming to the stage, Girthy Brooks. I could totally see him performing in Hickory, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, do you remember what the what the creek beside of uh, our high school was called? No. <laughs> you don't remember this? I don't yeah. uh, Free Nancy Branch because there was a slave named Nancy that was freed there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's 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 what I got. I do you remember that. our alma mater? Honey, I tried to block all his out. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's not copywritten, y'all. Ahem, ahem, Hail to the old Statesville High, alma mater till we die. I'm not done. Hail to every grad and friend. We salute you till the end. Students with their head held high will uh, will something always nigh. Damn it, I lost it. I hope you just triggered way too many memories just now. Like so many, me dear listeners. For those <laughs> don't know, um, I was in <laughs> the choir uh -huh. there, so we sang it a lot, and I thought I had repressed all of that. I haven't. Midnight. Not a sound from the pavement. Copyright. Oh! Copyright. Copyright. Speaking of that, not that, but that, did you hear who's in the revival of Company on Broadway right now? Right right now? Right now. No, who? Patty Lapone. What? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I bet it's impossible to get Oh, to it is. I, I have a friend who works <laughs> who works for the uh like one of the unions and I was like, Can you get tickets? She's like, nah, girl. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well Actually, speaking of inner speaking I got of physically entertainment, laughed at. Physically oh, well, laughed makes, at. Makes sense. I uh -huh. mean you get that a lot, but you know. Yes. Yeah. Well now, now we're on the cruise. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of speaking of entertaining people. And Suzanne is there, but there's not enough room for her clothes in the room. No, in this giant room that's bigger than most cruise rooms. And then Claude walks in in all of Claude. her glory. Claude. Claude. Hey, girl. Claude. Hey. We'll get to Claude a little bit more later. Yes. But Claude, Claude, Claude is just a witty gentleman. Who, Very witty. Who, so witty. Who's playing against all the ladies. 
He's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> one liner, one liner, one liner. Johnny Carson, eat your heart out. <laughs> he seems so. He seems so natural at this. He does. To just be a steward on a boat. Yeah, and then so the whistle blows for the for the everybody depart. Anthony wishes them a bon voyage. Mm-hmm. The porthole falls down and breaks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he then says, and may God be with you. Takes a sip and gets hell off the boat. Yes. Now, I've got a question. Yes? Why wasn't Anthony on this cruise? Because he's not a decorator. And? The whole purpose was for them to be the decorators to go on the cruise to help that. I mean, couldn't they just, like, have thrown him a, hey, special bonus, Anthony, come on. Plus, somebody has to watch this door, just uh-huh. like when, um, just like when, uh, what's his name was in the hospital. That's true. That's true. Anthony They're, had to be look like, "Look at you dude. making excuses for there being no black people on this boat." <sighs> I mean, let's be honest. Are there a lot of black people that would want to be on that boat? Uh, yeah, no, there's I don't, not. I don't there you know. go. I you don't saw that. You saw the passengers. No, there's not. Mm. <laughs> so now we're at dinner. We're at dinner. yes. Oh my God, Terry. And Suzanne is being a Debbie Downer. Yeah. Womp womp. She's like, she's I being hate extra, this. Extra negative in this one. I, 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 and she's very upset because the steward lost two of her wigs. I'd be upset too. I would too. I mean, two of us especially. I'd be. Wigs are I not mean, cheap. No, they are not. My, nice my. wigs? Nice wigs are not I mean, cheap. I don't have any real nice wigs. I have, <laughs> I have nice enough wigs and those things. Are cheap are not cheap either. No, I mean yeah. they are teased to the gods, not the gods, the gods. <laughs> and don't talk about a double stack. Oh lord, I I can't. I girl, I'm not gonna lie to you. I I can't. I, a double stack's too hot. <laughs> that double stack will end up looking like a half a stack by the end. I'll be sweating so much. Like you, I have to be in such air conditioned weather to wear that much hair. It is. Oh my gosh. My favorite wig was I had a drag queen that uh, I knew that took one of the like party city black and white wigs. Okay. And then turned it to Liberty spikes all over. Oh, nice. It was so comfortable. <laughs> like it breathed. Cause it was that really cheap stocking material up underneath. Like, uh, it was so great. I missed that wig. <laughs> Got stolen. Of course. <laughs> I was going to say what happened. The, I, before I even said what happened to it, I was like, I already know what happened to it. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. So Mary Jo and Suzanne decide to have a bet. I, <laughs> Who can get bad. the most looking, uh, the most looking, the most looking guy. <laughs> Yeah. The best, best looking, looking guy. Best looking guy. Before the, the captain's uh, dinner. Yes. Yeah. Mary Jo right now is feeling extra emboldened off of her Mai Tais. Mm-hmm. Always she, watch it. Those Mai Tais will ruin you. She 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 puts forward Ted's pinky ring. <laughs> it's opal. Why does she have that still? And uh because the only thing she wanted from the divorce, that's a callback to season one. I know, but it's just still like it's so problematic. And uh, Suzanne puts forth this Phillips diamond bracelet. It's beautiful. It is nice. It's nice even for the eighties. That's a lot of cubic zirconia. <laughs> Not some cubic zirconia. So now some comic relief shows up. We meet Jana and Terry. Yes. Jana is J H A N A. She added the H herself. <laughs> and Terry. I love lines like that. I love stuff like that so much. And Terry reminds me so much of Katya. <laughs> like just seeing her and her facial. <laughs> this isn't good, <laughs> Terry. This isn't good. Um, uh. Oh, man, they were great. <laughs> so they sit down at the table. There's no men at this table yet. Nope. Which um, is a problem. That's a problem. It's a problem. It's not good. It's not good, <laughs> Jana. It's not good. But she said it like that. It's like, oh, my gosh. And so so they then, Jana then looks over at uh, Suzanne's makeup and is really amazed by all the little lashes on the bottom. 
being completely separated and not clumpy. That's it. That means she uses quality mascara. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. It's ex- <laughs> I, I just I and we find we find out later. We just confirms what we just said that they use very cheap makeup. It's true. We get that. Thank you, Charlene, for confirming that. <laughs> so, Claude enters again. <laughs> Dressed as Joe Collins. Crawford. Why do I write Collins? Joe Crawford. It's Joe Collins. It's Joe, no, it's Joe Co- Collins. It's Joe Collins. Okay, God. This what was Dynasty it? Time. Oh my God. I thought it was Joe Crawford. No, this is Joe Collins. It's Joe Collins. Dynasty Time. Okay. Yeah. And he's wearing Suzanne's wig. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he swears he's not. I know. <laughs> so this is Charles Pierce. <sighs> he is a renowned uh Female impersonator. He preferred to be called an actor. Yep. Uh, he did a lot of... Well, actually, he went by male actress. Mm-hmm. Um, like Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, Joan Collins, um, Mae West. He did them all. Like, he was the drag a person of, like, the, the 70s and yes, 80s. Yes, yes, so yes. So this was a this was kind of a big deal. Uh-huh. That's why when if anybody is actually watching this episode, that's why they actually give him, like, a little bit of time to do his yeah. thing because yeah. it actually was a big deal to get him. Yes, like, like he goes on stage and does his spiel. Everybody's laughing. Julia's holding her hand over her mouth, giggling. Mary Jo's guffawing. And Suzanne's just politely nodding and s- uh next page (laughs) we find out that suzanne had that hair specially grown for her yes that's why she's so so upset so upset oh man i think i did appreciate the one line where um where claude calls himself out and he's like i heard joan collins was on this boat She's got to get off. One bitch on this boat is enough. And like <laughs> Julia, like any, anybody that actually watches this episode, go back and just watch yeah. Julia's reaction. That is the funniest she's ever like. Yes. It, yeah. If that was, a, it, I believe that was a real reaction. I think so. They probably yeah, was, they probably let him do a full set, I like for so the too. actors, yeah, and then they so he was too. just like. Because I'm sure Linda wanted to watch it, right? Well, uh, so I was, I, I did like some, <laughs> obviously, because we're just two big gay nerds. I did some research too. And apparently, like, he was one of the first, um, one of the first people, like, comics to have like a, st- like a stand up comedy kind of special uh-huh. broadcast on some kind of cable network. Because they used to, they broadcast it on the Playboy channel back when that was a thing. Okay, then. Look at I know. There. I was like, wow, that's wild. Like, I mean, you know, obviously we know that drag's been around forever, but like we've never heard about a person, you know, I remember him just just barely as a kid, like sometimes being on talk shows. But like, mm-hmm. I didn't know that he was like this. No, me either. And like the the first real drag queen other than RuPaul that I can really remember is Dame Edna. Like that is Dame the Edna. that is the uh, Barry Humphreys. Everyone look him up. Uh, he's hilarious. And um, technically, I guess technically, although they weren't technically a drag queen, but they kind of were a drag queen, madam. Yes, I get you could definitely count madam too. Madam, I mean, technically, dear, dear, and apparently, I, I would love to find the episode, but apparently, uh, Claude was on an episode of what, madam, of, of madam's place. Yeah. Oh wow. So, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be trying to find that. Oh my god, Mame. Yes. If we could find that full series, we could do another quick podcast on that one. Ooh, Madam's Place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dear listeners, Madam's Place is a all based around a puppet named Madam who let's looks be, like Phil be, Stiller. Let's be very honest here. Uh-huh. Madam was the character that launched a thousand Gen X gays. That's honestly. true. That's true. <laughs> You say that, I don't know how many actually remember Madam. Oh, people, rem- the thing is, right, people our age and a little bit older, they, all, it's almost like that, the, the meme about Shazam with Sinbad. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. People, if you bring it up, people are like, 
that sounds familiar, uh-huh. but like, that, that, that couldn't have really happened back then. Because that's the thing. It's like, there's such a, we have such a weird like block about what life was like back then. Uh-huh. That like, if you said that there was a puppet that was an old woman who was voiced by a gay man who was so popular uh-huh. that she was on multiple talk shows. She was the yes. center square on Hollywood Square. Yes. People now look back they're like, no. Yep. But then, but then you'll show them a picture, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, I totally remember this person." Yep. 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 Then there were people like me and you who were just like, "Yeah, give me, give me, give me, give, give, give me, give me." The, I follow her on Instagram. Like me what? too. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, I mean, if you're got listening, a, she got a, she's got a new hand up her butt. But you know, I love her still. Uh, of course. All right. So now it's after dinner. And Mary Jo is being very rude to somebody. She's like, hey, um, I've got a bet with that woman over there. Uh, uh, Do you have a better looking friend? Howard. Howard. Poor God. And then we pan pan over to Julia and Mel is trying to get with Julia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mel is, um, he is quite the lounge lizard. He is. I did not, so my take on Mel is... I didn't get an uh-oh feeling from him, right? Like, typically, that kind of person you would go like, ugh. Yeah. He just seemed like a dude. Like, He just seemed like a guy that was, I mean, he just seemed like a lonely guy on a yeah. single screws. Yeah. And, but here's, okay, so here's the one thing about Mel that I thought was really interesting, mm-hmm. is he has that weird monologue where he's, like, standing up for himself. Yeah. <laughs> like We aren't like, there um, yet. I was like, there. okay. No, I'm just saying, like that. That's for me, like still to this. That that resonated almost more than any other yeah. part of this episode was his like moment that they let him have. Yeah. So Mary Jo pulls uh, Julia aside. It's like I think we're in big trouble because Suzanne's talking to the hottest guy on the on the boat, and Julia's like, "I didn't do this. I never made this bet. What are you talking about?" And this is where Mel has his moment. He's like. Yeah, but tan. Yeah, I wear too much jewelry. Yeah, I go to the gym. Whatever. I I like it. They can't take it away from me. I, I'm I'm living my life, and it's great. You there? I have oh, been. Andy's wearing a toupee, which yes. Charlene like walks over and gets a one liner. That's a really good toupee. I didn't even notice. It's really funny. I was thinking about. This. So as you know, I've I've been kind of on this like old TV kick. So um, me and the husband have been rewatching Perry Mason uh-huh. and I, I, I especially thought this was really funny because there was an entire episode about a toupee uh-huh. and that okay. was essentially the giveaway for the murderer. Um, oh, the reason why I got distracted for a second is because I had this weird moment where I was, you know, the, the person that did Madam, right? Not to go back to Madam, but yeah. the person that did Madam, I was like, man, I was like, he had such an unusual name, right? His name was Wayland. And um, Wayland Flowers. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, why do I know that name? And I looked it up. And just to confirm, this is really cool. Wayland Smithers is named for Wayland Flowers. That's exciting. The, Mr. Burns' secretary. Yes, I Mr. know what Smithers. you're talking about. That's not as exciting as you think it is. No, that's quite interesting. Because the, if you think about it, like the clue was there the whole time from day one. Okay. Oh my god. I think it's nice that they honored the the memory of somebody like that personally. He was still alive when they started it. Yeah, he was he died so, like really soon after that show got started. Okay. Okay. Well, like Waylon Flowers died in 1988. Simpson okay. started in 1989. Okay. Okay, I did not know that. Wait, <laughs> it was only 89? God, yeah. it feels like it's been on longer. Um, mean, 89 was 30 something years ago. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Dear listeners, I, I should apologize to all of you and not to quote unquote yuck your yum. I am not a Simpsons fan. I I think it had like one or two good episodes. Yeah, he, he's not. He and does not the like rest Simpsons. is just meh. Meh. Well, from, from my part, I think that was a lovely gesture, personally. Marge versus the monorail. Brilliant. Like okay. that is that is a brilliant episode of television. Oh. Am I wrong? No, I love the monorail episode. Okay, I mean, I, I literally have like a Simpsons inspired poster like I off know to the left do. to me. I know you yeah. do. You used to have Bart, Bart and Garfield drawn on your jeans. Yep, I remember that. 
I still have those jeans. I don't fit them anymore, but I still have them. Have you cut them off and turned them into little booty shorts? Boo boo. It's not the length of the shorts that they'll fit. <laughs> I wore the things in middle school. What you talking about? I thought they last till high school. Well, they did last till high school because I had a middle school body in high school. I just, I feel like there's a joke there, but I'm going to let it go. Girl, I was petite for a long time. I was petite. She is a lady of small ankles, and I am a lady of girth, dear <laughs> listeners. That should be the new Soul Train a Lady of Girth Awards. It's not a lady of soul, it's just a lady of girth awards. Oh, look, the lady of girth. Honoring uh, your, big, your big ladies of soul. Hosted by Monique. Oh, wait, she's not big anymore, so she has to, she can't host anymore. She lost all that weight. So now we're back in the room. Okay? Yes. And Suzanne hasn't shown up. She's still out with that guy with the 80s hair. Well, and terrible blonde 80s hair. Ugh. Mary, we find out Mary Jo did find herself a man. It was Howard. He had a nosebleed. <laughs> they ask <laughs> they ask what Julia's doing. She said praying. Yes. <laughs> that she's 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 thankful that she didn't have a mother who wore what was a leopard headband. Something, something, something. No, and they're making fun of um. They're making fun Jana. of what's her name. Yeah, Jana. and like Charlie's like she's nice. She did seem nice to me. Yeah, she seemed nice to me too. I mean, I, both of them actually seemed friendly. I mean, oh, I would have loved. I would oh, have rather yeah. no, hung out with them than no. We would have been where we would have been with Terry all night. Like we yeah. would never. We'd actually, have been like Terry, where are you going next, girl? What what, what are we talking about? We would be with Claude. Nah, probably Ooh. not. We probably couldn't handle that. Um, Claude wouldn't have hung out with us. <laughs> Let's be let's be real here. Jenna, Jenna, and Terry would have hung that's out with us. Claude that's true. Claude wouldn't hang true. out with that's us. That's true. That's true. Hell, Mel may have hung out with us too. Hey, y'all <laughs> seem like some fun kids. I ain't getting any pee this tonight. Let's get let's get let's get some uh, beers. <laughs> let's get some beers. Let's get some beers. Some light beers. Some, you, some light. You guys beer. like those, right? The light beers, the diet the ones. Yeah. Or do you want a mai tai? Yeah. It's fruity. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved a Mai Tai, actually. I w so we f everybody's getting ready to go sleep now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mary Jo starts flailing around <laughs> because the dresses, jo Suzanne's hung her dresses behind her and she just can't, like they're taking up room on the bed. And, mm -hmm. and Mary Jo's like, how inconsiderate of Suzanne because, you know, she just assumes that I'm small and insignificant and that it won't bother me if these dresses are here. To which Julia rightly says, just move the fuckers. <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because once again, let's be very clear about this. They are not in a tiny room. No, no, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, like they aren't. at all. And they're on bunk beds, which yeah. conveniently enough, you could have hung it off the other side of the bed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. God. And so then she she decides to pull off one of them and she sees the breastplates and she's like, it feels like these are the the corrals for her breasts and I am just here guarding them while they're going out on a run. And I was like, oh, God almighty. God bless the Brock Hubs. God bless them. So it's the next morning. Yes. And, and Suzanne was dancing. Yeah, we're in a weird situation in the morning. I know. Suzanne was dancing under the stars with Trevor. Trevor. Of course he's named Trevor. Suzanne is in love, and Julia thinks it's a stupid name. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, thankfully we have Trevor Noah now that at uh -huh. least has like redeemed the name somewhat. So and like Suzanne's like it's like a male version of me. He takes an hour to do his hair, just like Ted. Mary Jo chimes yeah. in. Yeah. Um, but it's a male version of me. What's there not to love? <laughs> oh, speaking Have you so found many... found a male version of you yet? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> I mean, I get, I get what you're trying to do there, but let's be honest, I, I haven't. God, a butch version <laughs> of you would just be your brother. Oh yeah, that's true. Actually, I guess uh, yeah, 
I mean, it's really funny, right? So now that what you just said actually is really interesting because when they were talking, when they just said that, just to contrast, my brother, my, uh-huh. my, my heterosexual brother, he actually is the most like groomy and mm-hmm. like taking care of how he looks all with like that's actually him the yeah. uh, the other two of us the two gays in the family we're both like whatever where's a t-shirt i gotta go I'm so like we don't <laughs> it's true so speaking of butch things yes i realized mm. something the other day i had an epiphany oh a butch epiphany a mm. butch epiphany Ooh. Not that, not that kind of. Oh, okay, go ahead. Not, not, that's All right. okay. That's cool. that's some. That's not an epiphany. That awesome. just happens. All right. Already, go ahead. Um. So I think that I would have played sports or sport. I'm not going to say. It, I, I not, nothing like football or anything. Don't don't get it too. Don't get too excited. It's like if badminton. Running, soccer, something like that. You know. Okay. Um, I never would have played football. It's too violent. I always had an okay. aversion to it and always thought okay. I would hit my head too much and be stupid, which funny. That's what we found happens. <clears throat> um, so if when I was young, wearing tennis shoes did not cause me so much pain from being flat footed, oh. it took like a month to wear them in. Wow. So much pain. And the thought of putting on cleats just like cleats, cleats are uncomfortable even under good circumstances yeah Ima- imagine if you had completely flat feet in them oh my gosh that's yeah, crazy go. so i could have been butch maybe i would have been straight oh dang those flat feet making you gay damn my gay flat feet <laughs> and she slipped them into some heels <laughs> look girl that, that... <laughs> some pain you're willing to take some pain you're not I... I'm, 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 I'm in my 40s now. That's fine. I know to expect the pain. And I know how to work through it. Which is you kick, you throw the heels at people, and by the end of the night, you're just in your hose. Oh, so the Patty LaBelle effect. <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. Uh, so we're at breakfast now. Yes. And Trevor very, very... is flirting with Mary Jo. Flirting hard, too. Like and Mary Jo's like, but what about Suzanne? What about Suzanne? Trevor then says, I'd rather kiss your neck. Blah. And Mary Jo's like, no, sir. Nobody kisses my neck before breakfast. <laughs> and then she goes into a tirade about how great Suzanne is. And I like, like that you called it a tirade. And I just wrote down in my notes, Mary Jo is having a Julia moment. Well, she, she, she calls Suzanne the Rolls Royce of women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice to 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 have this moment where you're not fighting and yeah, you're you know you two you you really actually love each other even yeah. though you know yeah. you made us think that you you really kind of hated each other. Like... Suzanne comes downstairs. Mary Jo darts out and she asks Claude what's happened and he's like, "Girl, let me tell you, this is Honey. the tea. This is Honey. the tea. <laughs> blah 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 blah." And she loves you. And she's in love with you. <laughs> Which has a very strange reaction from Suzanne. Like, it's very weird. Like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh, it, it's it's like, I took his, well, that doesn't sound right. But of course she is. <laughs> yeah, course she, everyone loves her. Everyone. So oh. so now they're packing to to get ready to go. And like, they're like, are you not even going to talk to Suzanne? Are you not even going to say Trevor, tell Trevor goodbye? And she's like, you can only go so shallow, then you hit bottom. It's very true. Those are words to live by, girl. It's words very true. to live by. My ca- I moved my camera up here, so I don't <laughs> look like I'm looking down, but it's actually that the camera's above me, so it's right here now. It's very true, though, what she said. I mean, at the same time, isn't that probably the revelation that all of her ex-husbands had as well? It's true. It's true. So Suzanne just gives Mary Jo the bracelet, mm. and then they hug. Are your headphones M-Pal? I think they are. Maybe. 
Yeah, well, you I saw it. You could keep them on. Funny story about those before we get into closing this thing out. Yes. They were they've been banned from Amazon. Why? A payola scandal. Apparently, they gave them to a lot of people for free to give them good reviews. Aww. Yeah, they're actually. Well, I, I have I, this. This is in power, and I like it. I like my. I mean, you know. I mean, I like my cheap headphones uh, personally. The couple of pairs I have, I actually really think they're great. Um, so, girl, did you like this episode? Um. Y- in theory, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Just in theory, not in actuality? It's really weird, right? It's like, it has all the elements of something that I, you, you know me, right? All yeah. the elements are there. Or for some reason, I don't know. I guess it's because it had such a strange structure and plot to it. It was clunky. It was like, yeah, that's it. It was just like very clunky. And it was just like, it was just weird. It's like, I like so many elements of it. So I'm kind of like in a 50-50. You know, I... You know, I'll say if I absolutely hate it, but I'm like on a 50 50 there because, like, it did have so many things that I liked in it, but it just came together in like a weird way. Like, I kind of wish they had just kind of picked, like, you know, to me, I think what would have been fun is, you know, what if uh, Terry and, and, you know, Jana and they like that they focus more on them yeah. with them on the crew. Yeah. That would have been hilarious to me because yep. they're funnier than all of those men that they. <laughs> I, I I I thought I thought it was I thought it was good. I thought it was a very good Annie Potts episode. Yes, it was. As as Mr. Mims put it, it was a very good episode for Annie Potts and Suzanne's fashion. Um Oh yeah. Although she's not my Miss Georgia world, but Okay. Let's get to that. Mame, <laughs> did you find yourself in Miss Georgia World? You're gonna be mad at me. <laughs> did you pick Claude? In the Joan Collins address, I God. love that dress so much. Okay, but you know how I feel about Dynasty. You know already, God. and it was so sp- like it was so spot on that I was just like, oh, I love. This so so much. I have a tie for Miss Georgia World. Okay, and neither one of them are Claude. They are <laughs> both Suzanne. It's the epi- It's the one at the beginning when she gets on the cruise, that black and white number. Yes. yes. And then the red number when she comes down the stairs. The red number is like my number two. But both so, of them have hats, and yeah. both of them, they look so cute. Like, they're so good. No, they're the just my number two. so good. I just, you know me, I've, I've, always, I've always been obsessed with Dynasty fashion, and so it just, it was so spot on. <laughs> just like, ah, uh, Like, I wanted to... I mean, wanted to. I'm probably going to. I was just like going to freeze frame it so I could just go make it for myself. Because <laughs> so I was like, yes. Because you know, I have all those dynasty patterns that I got I know, online. I know. <sighs> Dear uh, listeners, if any of you are vintage pattern nerds in the 80s, Dynasty was not only a TV show, but they had their own line of sewing patterns. And Mame has had to take them and broaden them out. So broad. <laughs> I mean, if I could have a lat endectomy and just take off half of my back size, I would be so happy in drag. So, dear listeners, you need to call the Cricket Company <laughs> and tell them to to make it to where you can make full patterns out of it, and like in the in their like software, expand the pa- patterns out. Ooh, could you imagine? Yes, exactly. Oh. Jeez, if you could do pattern grading automatically with something like that, that yeah. would be, yes, that would literally. I mean, I hate using this term. It would literally be revolutionary, because uh, they, they make things they do that for. Uh, I know, but not automatically and print them out. I mean, they do. Like it's just they're industrial. I'm, I'm like, talking about for the home sewer. Oh, for the homes. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's it's called you you take it up by four hundred percent and then print it. No, that's not how it works. That's fine. It's it it kind of is. That's not how it works. It's not how pattern grading works. We, can, we that will take too long to explain to you. That's not how it works. But that's fine. <sighs> I know. I know. I know. It's not. There's some math involved because you, you go up in certain places, but you don't go up in the others. I know. do. You know how difficult. Like for me especially, like you remember, I hate math. I'm not terrible at math, but I hate math. And so when I learned about pattern grading and actually got dove into it, I got so frustrated because I was like, man, I did not want to be doing this at this point in my life. (laughs) Oh, 
Oh, man, why don't you tell them where they can find you? Sure. Um, you can find me online on Instagram at auntie.mame. Is that's that right? M-A- yeah, that's M-A-I-M. Uh, you'll also find me on Facebook because I'm old. At I'm your Auntie Mame, one word. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find me performing um, weekends, uh, not every weekend, but weekends at Villain Theater. That's villaintheater.com, like Heroes and Villains. Um, and on Thursday nights, if you are down in Miami, you can come to Miami Beach to this great little bar called Kill Your Idol, where I host mm-hmm. amazing colossal karaoke every Thursday night at 10 o'clock. And what about you, Mims? I'm the Divine Miss Mims, everyone. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Divine Miss Mims. You can find this podcast on Twitter at Baking Sugar Pod. You can find us on Patreon. At Baking Sugar. Thank you. You're channeling, that, <laughs> you're channeling that Eleanor energy from the other other podcast. I'm Eleanor. Okay, can we oh, take it down dear now? listeners, we also have another podcast. It's called You Slay Me. Um, and it's it's a murder she wrote podcast. You come join us over there too. Like, yeah, we have some fun. We have, we get extra silly on that one because we do their voices that I do. Uh, <laughs> We 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 recorded at a different time of the week when we're a little bit more punch drunk. Yeah, yeah. So this this is our serious podcast, dear listeners. <laughs> yes, this, this is, is our a... serious podcast. All right, Mame. We have been talking for an hour, and you've got a party to go to. Tell yes. everybody, tell everybody good night, Mame. Good night, Mame. Bye, y'all. <laughs>